Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with one of the most complete docking stations that we have seen, USB Type-C, or even the most complete that we have seen. Now, one of the things that impressed and was above my expectations is the build quality. I did look at the specifications and so on and so forth before I got my hands on the new Q, but once I did unbox it, everything is made of aluminium alloy it's not plastic well the front and the back are plastic but it's a full enclosure right over here which looks really awesome i would say that this will look as good on a laptop setup and as good on a desktop setup like my mac studio which is a desktop with some limitations in terms of connectivity and right over here it's a 16 in one which has a lot of connectivity now on the bottom it has this rubber feet which will put it on a surface it will prevent it from sliding it will get some vibrations not from this but any vibrations that we will do on the desk and then we have a cable which is built in now the cable built in it's a really nice touch the only downside that I see right over here is that if I want to shorten the cable, I will not be able to purchase a smaller cable to put it there. So I will need either to put it right over here or use this sleeve to make it shorter. But better longer than shorter. So this is probably the only thing that I do see that it's an advantage, but also maybe a disadvantage. In terms of connectivity, it's really complete. At the front, we will have all this connectivity that you are seeing right on the screen for SD cards, USBs, audio output, and then at the back, we will be able to connect a triple display, which I will share with you in just a few moments, besides USB, audio out, and also Ethernet connection. Now, as you guys know, I do test out everything that I can, and that's exactly what I did with this new Q docking station. In terms of SD cards and micro SD, we will be able to achieve roughly 100 megabytes per second. Actually, that will be the limit. I was going from 85 to 100 on reads and on writes. And then on USB Type-C, I was getting with the Sabrent SSD on the mark of the 1000 megabytes per second, which will be the maximum that we will get on reads and on writes. And if we use the USB type A, which is also a 3.2 generation two, like the USB type C, we will get the same result, 1000 megabytes per second more or less. Underneath we will have two USBs, one A and one C, which will charge any device like a phone or a tablet or something like that up to 18 watts. And then we will also have a audio output. So if we want to connect a headset, we will be more than fine. Now at the back, we will find two USBs 2.0, which will be great to connect our keyboard and mouse. And let's say that I do have this on my desk connected to a triple display setup with mouse and keyboard. And I just arrived with my MacBook Pro, connect one single cable, and I will have all my peripherals. Now you might say, hey, but USB 2.0. Yeah, it is great because we will not be um, using the faster USBs right over here. We will be using these that are slower, but more than enough for keyboard, mouse, and so on and so forth. Besides that, I also tested the gigabit uh, ethernet connection right over here. And my connection to the internet is only 500 megabits per second. So that was the maximum that I was getting but it is a gigabit connection. Lastly, I did test it out the triple display setup and having in mind that this is a MacBook Pro 14 inches and it will get triple display capability on its own. But if you have a MacBook with M1 or M2, which only will be able to give image to one single external display with the new Q, you will be able to use even those computers that do not support more than one. In this particular case, they will support up to three displays. Now I did use one ultra wide display with picture in picture mode just to exemplify. I was able to get two signals out of there and then the third signal on an extra display that I have right over there on my setup. So the maximum that we will get is up to 4K at 60 Hertz 
or if we go down to 1080 we will be able to get 120 hertz which is awesome so these are the limitations but in my particular case 4k at 60 it's a great balance a great image quality and resolution while maintaining a nice refresh rate if you are playing games then you will probably need to decide if you want to lower the resolution and ramp up those refresh rates that being said hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there right next to the link for the new q docking station my name is roberto george today with the new q docking station and as always i'll see you guys on the next one